<laughs> oh, it's the spot. Oh, right, right. Balcony. Ah, beautiful day, isn't it? In Lumberjack, Canada. It's a real place, I think. Probably not. Last night, you know, was a rough sleep. We had, um, we had some bats getting in, so I started repairing the place a little bit because, uh, you know, we don't want we don't want no bats in here. They're probably getting in up here, aren't they? I knew it. Luckily, it's the daytime, so they won't be attacking me and sucking my blood. But uh, with everything that's going on in the world, I'm not taking any chances with these here bats. All right, we're getting we're getting this thing sealed up. So some of this stuff you're kind of doing like through the walls and stuff, and it kind of kind of makes it like not so satisfying to watch. So that's why I kind of just did it on my own here. But uh, you know, in case in case you felt like you were missing out, in case you got the FOMO, here you go. This is what you missed. Damn, someone freshly put in these stairs. It's completely different color than the rest of the house. So I figured today we should probably actually do some lumberjack things. I mean, we kind of learned what to do last time, but we just we just kind of did some weird family time. I feel like this proves how lazy my aunt and uncle or whoever the hell sold me this thing are. Like, look at this. This isn't so hard. It took me less than a day to fix this place up. Or at least patch it, you know? I'll worry about making it look good as new later. How do you go downstairs in this place? Is there like an outside exit to the basement? Because I saw the basement through the floor. What, what is this music? <laughs> I think someone was like dying or something in a dramatic death scene. Papa, I will fight them for you, Papa. No, don't worry, Papa. <sighs> Vengeance. Oh, no. <nope. laughs> and instead, he chose a life without hate. He chose to live life peacefully and happily and never seek revenge on the people who killed his papa. What is that? Is that a buffalo? No, that's a giant pig, warthog, Bambi, and Pumbaa. We got all the Disney characters. Come back, <laughs> don't come at me. <laughs> hey, watch it. <laughs> oh, there's two of you. That's right, boys, wrangle yourselves into my barn. Nope, you, you took a wrong turn, wrong turn. For, for sale? No, it's not for sale anymore. Take this down. No, I say take it down. No, I say take it. I say take it down. Are there for sale signs all over? You know what? Actually, I don't really want this property. It is for sale. Step right up. Should probably eat myself a nice fresh apple for the day. How do I put my weaponry away? <laughs> a couple nails in the apple never hurt. I would like to eat an apple, please. Oh, I got lots of food. Look at me. An apple and a sausage. Breakfast of champions. Beer? Well, we'll hold off on the beer. Probably non-alcoholic. I feel like this is important if I'm getting behind the wheel of a tractor. Auntie M. Hello, dear. Good to see you. Where's Dorothy? Need me to help you with something? I haven't heard from Lily for quite some time. Do I have a list? Go over there and see if she's okay. Not the most intimidating lumberjack you've ever seen. Gotta go. Look after yourself. <laughs> you could have gave him a bit more of a, like, lumberjack voice, you know? Make him rough and tough. Maybe that's like as your character progresses, his voice, he becomes, he goes like, okay, thanks for, thanks for stopping by. And then he goes, how's it going? Hey, I cut trees for a living there, bud, you know. Need me to help you with something? Well, yes, actually. Our pickup, Christine, is left in the forest. She's not worth much, but it would be a shame if somebody stole her. Would you mind driving her back here? Did you leave the keys in her? Or is this one of those ones you start with a freaking screwdriver? Also, why was that so loud? Excuse me, pardon me, crossing the road, don't mind me. Um, do I just maybe take the bus there? Because if I take a tractor there, the tractor's gonna get left there. And I feel like that's not, it's not the key to success. Buy this forest. No, I'm not buying a forest. I'm trying to take the bus. Is there no bus yet? They had a bus in their other game. They weren't able to figure it out in this one. Oh, here we go, bus stop. How come it shows a person? Is this a person or a truck? Is there a bus stop near there? It's not very far away. I guess I gotta walk. <laughs> All right, I guess a good stroll down memory lane doesn't hurt. Was I born here? Did I come here as a child? Is this a trip down memory lane? Do I own these apples? Eh, mine now. 
Everything is for sale here. I feel like nothing is successful <laughs> in this town. Either that or my aunt and uncle own everything and they just went bankrupt and they're just trying to scave off the bank. Don't take my jewelry. The old girl's just basking in the sunlight, enjoying her last few days before the engine dies. <laughs> oh my God, I thought someone left you in a pond. Almost. Look at her. She's a thing of beauty. Drive Christine back to your uncle. No, screw him. This is my truck now. Christine got a new man. I'm going to take care of her better than you, uncle. Take her out to see the world. With you, she's stuck inside all day. Slaving away for your needs. You grouchy old bastard. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't. We, we almost had our first fight there, Christine. <laughs> Look at that shifter. Now, if that ain't farming... If that ain't a farm truck shifter, I don't know what is. Farming's all about the shifter. It's not about actually farming. You're home, Christine. Actually, no, your home's across the street. This is this is your old man's home, but don't worry. I'm going to take care of him, Christine. You wait in the, ca the car. Like you, you are asked. the car. Wonderful, thank you. Now that I think about it, you could use the truck more than I do now. Why don't you use her while you're here? She's not much, but I'm sure you'll like her. You should go and see all of her. Last time we talked, he mentioned something about his barn that needs some repairs. Perhaps you could help it. I actually feel bad about asking you, but you've seen our old house and farm buildings. They're all in really bad condition. Could you bring them back to life? What do you think? Help us old folks. How many jobs did you just give us? Profit. I feel like the time just sell. changed we there. We cannot afford to pay you at the moment, but if you help, you will live comfortably while you stay here. That's, that's an awful deal. All work and no pay? Sorry, uncle. Not this time, you son of a... I spotted a rather strange-looking man down by the river. He hid in the bushes when he saw me. Could you please check on him? I must say I'm a little scared. Will do. See you later. Damn it, Grandma. What drunker were you leading on this time? Uncle gave me so many jobs there that, like, the time shifted. Started in the morning, and now it's the afternoon already, just in him giving me the list of chores. You two do anything other than just rake the flower bed? Well, those are hoes. Damn, you both got hoes. All right, all right. Who's stalking my aunt? You weirdo. If you want to see more of her, just subscribe to her OnlyFans. Uh-oh. <laughs> I got a little steeper than I had anticipated. We're going to sneak up on this guy, though. He'll never see it coming. Ooga, booga, 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 booga. Ah! Long way down. Oh, you got a little tent here and everything. I don't think you're the creepy guy in the bush. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing here? Me? Uh, fishing. Why? Why? Well, it seems you've been acting a bit strange for a fisherman. Oh, it is him. Oh, I'm so sorry. I know Grace very well, and I promise I'll explain everything to her. I just wanted to prevent rumors. I'd rather have my wife not know I'm here. Really? Why is that? This is like a business well, trip. You look like an honest young man. So what the heck? You see, I am Ryan Loivarden, the local deputy mayor. I'm very well known here, but it's not enough for my dear Abby. Aim higher, she says. My papa would be ashamed. Oh, I know a thing or two she about says, papas. So, would you go and tell my wife I'm off to a board meeting? We'll be back tomorrow. You see, fishing under the stars is just amazing. Do they bite at that time? I mean, I guess, sure. Teach a man to fish, right? Worth, worth the work much more of a deal and a trade offer than my uncle gave me so the unfinished tower strange construction up on the hill perhaps worth paying a visit sounds intriguing i like it better than repairing things which is the other two jobs i guess i could go talk to that woman do i still have that quest right here yeah we can go talk to her too who knows maybe we'll steal two women in one day isn't that right christine don't get jealous don't get jealous she's a human woman you're my car woman okay there's a difference I'm trying really hard not to get you stuck down here right now <laughs> oh no that's not good the old girl has a couple tricks up her sleeve this truck's got no clearance we need a lift kit so can i actually run out of fuel how do i see my fuel i don't see anything that indicates fuel so but I feel like there's fuel, because I remember filling up in the uh, farming version of this game. <laughs> Seems like the dash doesn't work at all. <laughs> the speedo has no needle. Oh, God. 
that what it's called? A needle? There's no indicator thing. None of it does. Could have at least put it there and had it not move just for some show. I'm not sure why I'm here. What exactly are you selling? Well, not much really. Used to have the lot. Food, drinks, refreshments. Hope for tourists, hikers, you know. Those were the days. If you have any fresh food, I will gladly buy it. I cannot pay you much, but I'll give you what I can afford. That's my reaction exactly when, to these people around here, man. Like It's like, God damn. Does anyone not make me do things for a favor? Can I finish the tower? This thing is... What is this thing? <laughs> Doesn't even look like they barely started. They drove a few posts into the ground and called it a day. Once they come out with the final product of this game, it's going to be great. Like, we already got bus stops and animals, like all the things that they added to Farmer's Dynasty. Lumberjack Dynasty probably won't be the masterpiece. But what will? That's the question. It has to be something outdoorsy. Maybe uh, mining, minor dynasty? <laughs> kind of rolls off the tongue a little bit. I don't know. It could be the one. But it'll have everything. Everything they worked on with all these games before it. It'll have everything. Damn, the mayor really lives uptown. And when I say up, I mean like up the mountain Hollywood style. Oh my god, what is this? Is this where I'm supposed to be going? Is this a mansion up on the hill or is this like a community? Oh. The hell is this? Oh. It's like a place where you could take like a tram or whatever it's called up the mountain maybe interesting it's giving me like stardew valley vibes or something we're gonna go up on the mountain and find some freaking elves or something hotel why is the mayor's wife at a hotel are you waiting for me mrs abigail louvarden yes <laughs> your husband's gone fishing but he was afraid to tell you hmm we could get in her good books by telling her that i feel like she's gonna see through the lie but you know what? It'll show that we're a loyal, noble man who lies. Your husband sent me. He asked me to tell you that he's in a meeting. Yeah, I know these meetings of his. He's off fishing and you are lying for him, right? Jesus. I'm fine with him catching fish, but you should not lie, young man. Shame on you. Oh, there goes my social points. I'm pretty sure they went down. So what if he did? That's his choice. Yeah, exactly. Damn it, I knew I should have told the Hi. truth. Hi there. I'm sorry about lying. Need me to help you with something? Not now. Sorry. Okay, fine. She's See you mad. Later. She's mad at me. I should have told the truth. This is this is a lesson. I'm sure I won't learn anything from it, but maybe one of you will. Damn, that lady just smelled like bitch. She had resting bitch face. And she smelled like a bitch. She Walk like a bit. I hate her. I hate that she caught me in my lie. That's what I really hate, but I hate her. Oh! Sorry, I cut you off. I kind of deserved that. Oh! Sorry, I was in your lane. I kind of deserved that. Welcome to Canada. This is how we drive. Somebody rams into the side. Oh, sorry, bud. That's, that's totally my fault there, bud. You know what? We're gonna have some fun. Oh, this is a bad idea. I can already feel it. This is a bad idea. Well, so far, not so bad. Not so bad. Not so bad. Oh, nice. Beautiful waterfall. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry, Christine. I'm treating you rough. I'm, I'm angry at women right now, all right? That last lady <laughs> really got under my skin. Oh, my God. And Christine gets her revenge. And and has the final laugh because the car's stuck. And I can't get out. <laughs> what do you do in this situation? <laughs> oh, call tow truck for 200 euro. Great. Where does that bring me? I knew I shouldn't have gone off-roading. Whose idea was it? Own up. Fess up to it. There's a full-on waterfall to cross here. I think we, uh... Might be able to do it on foot. Why can't I get out? Can you not park your car here or something? Why can't I get out of my car? Oh, oh, oh. Exit. Yes. I got out. Apparently that's an official parking spot, but... 
Only that. You know what? I think I think the old girl can handle it. We're gonna we're gonna give her a try, old girl. If it costs us another two hundred euro, so be it. Ugh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now hold on. We're not stuck yet. She's slowly sliding down. <laughs> oh, into a rock. This isn't good. This is probably not good. We're clipping through the rock. Come on. <laughs> oh, no. What have I done? All right, mistakes were made. Another 200 euro down the tube. Don't run into me. I just spent 200 euro. Oh, my God. Are you okay, sir? Guy almost rolled that van coming around the freaking mountain corner. Dangerous. He was so close to rolling it, he went in the ground. All right, I'm sticking to the road because I don't know how easy money is to get in this game, and I just wasted a bunch. Apparently, I'm tracking dirt onto the ground. I don't, I don't know what's happening there. Wow, that bird looks like it's almost flying in slow motion. <laughs> You're in my lane. Thank you. Probably should have just took the bus. It would have been a lot cheaper. All right, you stay here because... You are not an off-road truck, that's for sure. What is that waterfall? <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. It looks like someone took a really small stream of water and just made it really big. And then it comes out of nowhere, it clips through everything. I like it. Aren't you a herbalist? Why are you fishing? Hello, can I help you? Oh well, my god. Yes. I'm looking for Mrs. Aren't you Lily. magical? Apparently she's a herbalist, supposed to live somewhere around here. Do you know where she might be? Actually, I am Lily, and I am indeed a herbalist. Who are you? You are Lily? Well, I must admit, when Aunt Grace sent me here to see a herbalist, I was expecting... Not someone, someone from else. Skyrim. <laughs> That's what I was expecting. An old witch with a black cat and an old goat? Sorry to disappoint you. Not at all. If anything, I should be sorry. Nice to meet you, Lily. Are you okay? You live here all alone? My Aunt Grace was kind of worried. Well, yes, I do. I graduated in botany and natural medicine last year and moved back here to live with my father. Unfortunately, he passed away shortly after that. I'm so sorry to hear that. And so you took really? to living in the forest? Can I help you with anything? That's so sweet of you. And practicing black magic? I make potions. Herbal, elixirs, natural See? cosmetics. I could always use some help. Black magic. But I have only just started selling these online, so the business is not exactly booming yet. I'm keen to help any way I can. I don't expect much payment. If there's any way I can help, just ask. See what I mean? He's a bitch. Well, no wonder nobody pays you. I need some mushrooms. I got a large order from a nearby hotel, but have not yet had time to go and pick them. Could you do that for me, please? I would, but I... I know nothing about mushrooms. What kind no, of mushrooms? Magic I mushrooms? To pick the right ones. Forest mushrooms are the best. You just have to pick the right ones. So, will you help me? As long as you sign this waiver that if these mushrooms poison you, it's not my fault. 50 wild mushrooms. Yikes. It's going to be uh it's going to be a while. Hopefully you got a nice place to uh hang out in the meantime because I don't even know what these things look like. Keep an eye out when I'm cutting down trees. How about that? Sounds like a fair trade. Complain about fixing things, and next thing you know, you're trying to hunt down mushrooms. Keep it moving. I'm trying to get in my freaking car here. Jeez. I'm going to run this guy off the bridge in a second. Okay, in 10 seconds. The car's a little slow. Ah! Oh, God! Damn, they make Kias strong these days. 